I'm probably a lot more frustrated right now by the fact that my sociology homework, I have to write essays that are graded by a computer. So I'm a little bit frustrated about something else, but if anything can add to the frustration, it would be the fact that the Cubs still haven't won a spring training game as they fall to the Padres today 6-3. to three. Now I didn't expect them to win in a game where the king of useless, Edwin Jackson, starts, and he did nothing but fulfill up to that name. Now, while Edwin Jackson was not charged with any earned runs in this debacle, he did allow four runs, some of which were results from an error by him. Once again, showcasing how poor of a baseball player he really is, and this should be a statement to everybody that Edwin Jackson has no place on not only the Chicago Cubs, but on any Major League Baseball team. He is absolutely horrible, and I do not understand not only why the Cubs signed him to $52 million over four years, but more so why he's actually been playing baseball these past two years after it became incredibly apparent that he is not fit to be a baseball player. I am therefore sorry for everybody that has to continue to watch Edwin Jackson play. Outside of that rant, there weren't all really all that many positives to take from this game. Dexter Fowler picked up a hit. But Anthony Rizzo is still hitless in spring training, and Starling Castro is batting 125. He went 0 for 3. Miguel Montero and Mike Holt both had homers, and Chris Bryant was 1 for 1 with a walk. So there's your positives from the game. No action for Javier Baez, and really nothing, really nothing, really nothing else happened. Kyle Hendricks pitched two innings, did surrender three hits, but didn't allow any runs. Jason Mott had a bit of a rough going. He allowed two runs on three hits, struck out two and two-thirds. Everybody else performed very well. Hector Rondon, Pedro Strope, and C.J. Edwards combined only allowed one hit, which was from Hector Rondon. So seeing Strope and Edwards both pitch perfect innings with two strikeouts apiece is very nice. But the Cubs are still winless in spring training, and therefore it is very frustrating to continue to see this happen. But maybe it'll let the hype die down a bit and give the Cubs a chance to perhaps snap back to reality and give themselves a chance to get a better identity of the fact that they still are indeed the Chicago Cubs. But through this, we must realize that spring training games still do not matter, and the Cubs can go winless in spring training and can still make the playoffs in 2015 just as any other baseball team can. Spring training typically has no bearing on the regular season, and even in individual performances, it often does not mean a lot. For example, Mike Moustakas last year was unstoppable in spring training and then went back to his sub-Mendoza line days that he usually performs at for the Kansas City Royals. So we can't even let individual performances hold too much water. We just have to wait until people return to either Wrigley Field or to their respective minor league affiliates. That is really it to be able to make a judgment on spring training. Spring training is simply acclimation to these major league environments, and it's going to take a while for the younger players to be able to get into that position, and even the older players to be able to get themselves accustomed to what it's like to be playing professional baseball again. So with these problems quite apparent with the Cubs so far, it only makes it clear that they have to take these losses like this and realize that they know it sucks to lose. And after losing 89 games last year, 96 games in 2013, and 101 games in 2012, this team is quite familiar with the fact that losing sucks. So this year is supposed to be the year where they're poised to change it, and last year the Cubs were around 500 in spring training, but that clearly had no bearing on how the regular season went, and I don't believe that this year it'll have any bearing on how the regular season goes. The Cubs could be undefeated right now, and the same thing would apply, even though we'd all like to think that it'd be different. That spring training really doesn't matter, and we can't make judgments even at all until the first round of roster cuts comes. But that's all I have for today, so keep your hope from Clark and Addison, and hopefully I can finish his sociology homework that has been frustrating me to a whole new level this these past few hours other than that make sure to check back in tomorrow for another video where we'll see where the cubs stand after tomorrow's game and hopefully they can get themselves back on the winning track and get themselves into a bit of a role going into the 2015 season other than that that is all for today good afternoon and good night cubs fans